So I do confess to um, smoking, um, especially the tobacco, which is the thing that God was showing me really harmful. Um, and I've been smoking the tobacco real tough because they had threatened to rape my son, Melbourne, while I was in the jail. They Satanists over there being loud. They threatened to rape Melbourne, my son, while I was in the jail. They threatened to kill him and mutilate him as well. And that's when Cynthia Overa and Joseph Overa and the United States government, all these people did these um, seance witchcraft uh, visitations to me telling me that they was gonna rape my child because I protected myself and time they couldn't wait to get my son they was already chasing me for my son when his daddy was in the prison and turns out they pedophiles and they was all doing the witchcraft talking about they was gonna rape my son and molest my baby and kill us and rape me and while I was in jail talking about they gonna uh, make me eat my baby and all this whole kind of shit so yeah that's why I've been smoking the tobacco and I'm pregnant that's why and they've been abusing me. So you gonna threaten to rape my little boy. That's why I've been smoking while I'm pregnant with this baby. And guess what? The, he, the baby is moving less. It's not moving as strong. And they know what they doing by abusing me and my son, keeping Melbourne from me over there with those pedophiles or whatever he had. They all fucking pedophiles. So you lying about my pregnancy and keeping my son from me after threatening to rape and mutilate him. So yeah, I'm smoking to keep from smoking. To keep from smoking. If you know what I mean. Because that's the type of shit that a motherfucker got the right to go to war about. You got the right to go to war with motherfuckers threatening to rape and sodomize your child. You got the right to get guns to smoking about that bullshit. But I already had a charge with them lying about it. And I never had no intentions of hurting anybody. I was protecting myself. And if I did hurt somebody now, I would be protecting my son because they are rapists and murderers and pedophiles. But I'm going to trust in my God. So I've been smoking to keep from smoking. Because these is rapists and murderers and pedophiles. And your own government, your own police department, your own judges, your own lawyers think they going to help pedophiles. So I got to sit back smoking a cigarette while they lying about my pregnancy, trying to help kill me and kill my baby to some people that think they're going to be raping them. So like I said, I dare my accusers to step to me and say anything about me smoking while I was pregnant. I dare you to say any goddamn thing about me shooting a gun to protect myself. Where are my accusers? Let them stand before me. And that means it could be witnesses. But see, they don't want it to get, they don't want me to have nobody on my side. That's why I ain't nobody around. Because it's too many people that's been witnesses to him abusing me. It's too many people that was witnesses to this baby. It's too many people that was witnesses to murders and child molestations and all sorts of things. That they don't want to come and get a testimony. They don't want to come and tell the truth about Andrea Jones' pregnancy. They don't want to tell the truth about what's really going on. Because they want to be racist. They want to be sold out. They want to just be secure in society. Oh, just another black woman dead. Who cares? Another number. Just another black baby dead. Who cares? Just another number. Oh, another black woman gets raped. Oh, who cares? Just another number. Oh, another black little boy gets molested by some damn pedophiles. Who cares? Just another number. No, I care. Call me crazy again. Call me crazy again. I dare my accuser to stand before me. Call me crazy again. 
And I will condemn your ass. Because you're a pedophile. Everybody that they got to accuse me of anything is a part of these covens. Because any real true person of God can understand what's really going on. Because they done got bit in the ass this time. See, they've been going around doing all kind of bullshit to people that's not strong enough or to people that they just was able to go on on the head and get away with it. And I see how they removed my channel because I went back looking for more videos about Korean gangs and I could not find her videos because I wanted to be a black activist when I was at home with my little mixed race baby boy seeing what people was doing to us in the community. And I saw the deaths of Sandra Bland and Korean gangs and I looked up their information and they had several videos exposing these people bothering them. And, that, and there ain't no way... Korean gang family and friends did not know that them people was finna come and kill that girl. They knew. Because she got on her Facebook and said something to them. And asked people to help her. And she had been making videos. And they just disappeared. Only videos that they got of Korean is uh, uh, the videos where they trying to make her look crazy. Where they trying to justify having come and shot that woman in her home. And they hurt her little boy too. The little boy was old enough to give a, t a statement. And my baby could not talk, but he knows what happened. And Korean gang son said they came in the house and shot my mama. And then the police pointed the gun at me and shot the gun at me. But I ran. That's what he said. And ain't no little boy finna just make up no shit. Because she knew that they was the devil. Because she knew. And because she ain't want to serve them. And then they got my family and, and friends thinking you going to do that shit to me. How many black women y'all think y'all gonna keep killing because we don't want to worship these white people with y'all? Huh? Because, bitch, I ain't going out without a fight. And she should have blasted that motherfucking gun. They came up in that motherfucker, she should have blasted that motherfucking bitch. But you know what? I'm glad that she didn't because then they probably would have killed her son because I know how these devils is. And they sitting over there threatening to retaliate against a little child. He was 22 months old. They over there talking about they going to rape my little boy. Uh, the police department talking about they going to rape my little boy because a white man got shot. So ain't no telling what they would have did to Korean gang little boy. If she did, would have shot one of them devils. Because they think that a grown ass white devil life is more important than a little bitty black boy. You think that a little bitty black toddler is worthy of being raped and mutilated and killed with his tongue out just because a white gangster with seven, eight fucking charges in a gang, homosexual, attacking the little boy and attacking his mama, got shot in the leg. I could have killed him and got away with it. But I spared his ass and I shot him in his leg while he was trying to be violent with my child. And you think that his leg was worth more than, talk, than that little baby life? To say you gonna cut his tongue out and rape him and mutilate him and kill him and give him AIDS and herpes because a white man got shot to hell with your ass. And they've been doing this shit the whole damn time. So now they expose that you pedophiles, you expose that you rapist, you expose all of that shit because you threatened to do that to that baby boy. Now God said he don't feel no remorse for Austin Leg. God said let that bullet in his leg be a reminder to him about abusing women. That's what God said. So y'all can keep that racist ass bullshit about trying to make me feel bad about a white man getting shot. My God said he shouldn't have been abusing me and I'm a woman. And I see how scared I get when y'all be having these men following me around trying to do stuff to me. And I know that the only reason why I shot him was in self-defense. There was just a reaction. And I would do it to anybody trying to hurt me. I will I try to hurt you however the fuck I can. So all that goddamn racist ass bullshit talking about you gonna rape somebody, baby, because it's a white man got shot. I don't give a fuck. Give me my son. Because he was abusing me. And you ain't going to sit there talking about, oh, you going to rape my baby. No, 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 no. You not going to make me care that much to where you talk about you going to rape my child. And then, like I said, call me crazy again. Let my accusers stand before me. 
And then, you know, one thing about black people, man, one thing about black people is all that, oh, you so scared, all oh, these white people did this to us, all oh, these white people did that to us, and then they get on there, oh, hard. yeah, nigga, I got Uzis, I got guns for what? To kill your own brothers and sisters for these devils? Because that's the only fucking thing you're going to use it for. Because you ain't going to go out there and get your real freedom, you ain't going to go out there and tell these motherfuckers to let us go. So what the fuck I got to respect you for? Because you going to kill me? Nah, real kings... Don't kill they people. They protect they people. And y'all not real kings. Them boys that get out there with their Bible and preach the downfall of these people, them the real kings. Tired of fucking talking.